So right, can you kind on. of talk about now, obviously, must win? And I'm, I'm sure you're going to say you're focusing on one game and not having to win two, three, or four. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was a competitive game, our first game with them, and they're playing well. They've won uh, four straight at home, and uh, they split on in the mountains, beat Utah. So, uh, you know, they're a big team, and they can really rebound. So uh, just we have to be physical. We've got to rebound the ball. And, you know, we just uh, – you know, we got to get back on a, a winning vibe, and uh, you know we, uh, we we had some careless turnovers. I think that was that was probably uh, you know a big part of it after watching it again just with the Oregon game. So, but you're right, it's uh, you're at the point now where we got to win every game we can. I was going to ask about the turnovers. Just you don't have enough margin for error offensively when you're given empty possessions. So, how do you? Like what do you what do you what do you do from a coaching standpoint with that? Just get back to the basics and talk about just keeping the game simple and uh, you know not uh, you know we did some we left our feet to pass and sometimes to the other team and we just uh, did some un uncharacteristic team things. I think we've been a better passing team in transition and, and we really didn't make great decisions even in the transition game and uh, so we we just uh, you just hope it's a one off situation and it's not like something that's going to continue because uh, that's not really what we've been. We've, we've, I think we're second in the conference in, in turnover margin, so we've, we've uh, done a good job in, in, in that category. And we're, you know, we're top four in assists, so we just got to keep you know, doing those things and focus on that. It doesn't seem like you guys are getting as many easy points, the points off of the other opponents' turnovers during the last few games either. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to be active uh, as we can be. and. Uh, you know, I thought we were, you know, we were pretty good defensively, especially in the first half. I mean, we, you know, they should have had 24 at the half, and uh, and that would have been a really good start. Um, you know, they they were in a better rhythm, uh, you know, and they were throwing it into Dante. I think when when we went to the press, I think that that helped us, you know, create some turnovers and talk a little bit about, you know, what what you touched on. There have been times in the past when you went on really good runs in February or March, and coming off of. You know, maybe people not expecting that. Were there things that you took from those experiences that could help you with this experience? Um, every one of those teams is different, and I think sometimes the schedule has something to do with it. I, I thought, you know, particularly last year, we had played a lot of hard games kind of in the middle, just how the COVID thing played out, and then we had a more favorable schedule to finish, and then we were able to get hot and uh, playing confidently. So... You know, it's just a matter of trying to, you know, find our gear again and, and getting guys playing well. And, uh, you know, on the road, your margin for error is less, and we just got to, you know, we got to be ready for that. And what is Stanford doing better than they were early that now they all of a sudden put some wins together and beaten some good teams? Yeah, it's, uh, I think, defensively, they're very interchangeable. They're, they're, their defense has improved. Their field goal percentage defense. And, you know, the last several games, they've been rebounding the ball, out-rebounding their opponents, so they're utilizing their, their size and, uh so yeah, we got to make sure we're, we're getting five on the backboard, and uh, you know, and, and, and Jones has been a guy that's hurt us in other games, and he's he's one of our best players. So we got to really you know focus on him as well. What's your sense of how just players are just emotionally right now? You know, coming off another loss and things not going as well as you hoped. Yeah, I think if if you get severely outplayed, it's it's more demoralizing. I, I, I think it's. It's however you slice it, it's hard to lose and, and it hurts. Uh, but but when you when you play a pretty good game, and I, and I thought you know outside of the stretch where they were able to get it to doubles in the second half, you know we 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 had played a very good basketball game. So you just want to you you focus in on the quality of play and you remind them, hey, you know we're right there, and uh, we keep playing like that. We're gonna you know we're gonna win some games here. And look, go ahead. Obviously, the postseason, it doesn't like to look good. How do you get guys to focus on these instead of, you know, the stress that comes with, okay, now we got to win the tournament? Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't even think we're, we're there yet, you know, in terms of just, you know, our record is 16 and 8, and, and we're 7 we're and 6. Now we've got seven games left, and everyone's got to line up and play, no matter who we're playing, you know. So what do we do with these next seven? And then, and then we'll see, and then it could be a different conversation. I might more, more or less agree with you more because uh, I still feel there's a lot of games that could help our case that are out there and available. And if we, you know, are able to get on a roll and, and get some things done over the last seven, then 
and then go to the tournament and play well, then we'll, we'll be in good shape. Do you talk to them about the, that big picture or do you keep it more granular to the... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of uh, just talked about the significance of this week and, and, and focused on that because, uh, you know, we're just, we're, we're running out of opportunities. So we, uh, you know, we certainly have to go out there with the mindset of, of trying to win two games and fighting like heck to do that. And, uh, and getting the job done so that we could come back home for our last two at home, and then, and then we'll go from there. But it's it all starts this week, and, and to me, I think we're at uh, you know a point in our season for things like NCAA tournament and postseason. It's uh, we got to win these two games. I'm doing something on Austin for Saturday. Okay. So obviously, you look at what this kid's done as a true freshman, and even going to the Washington game where he's got to nail three free throws with literally no time on the clock. Yeah. It just seems like he's got that poise. It's very uncharacteristic of most true freshmen. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, he's got a lot of guts. He's got a lot of fearlessness to how he plays. It's uh, it's what attracted me to him in, in recruiting and watching that, those things. You could see, you know, how hard he competes and uh, he never cheats you with, with effort. He plays both ends of the floor, uh, and, and he doesn't he doesn't back down in the moment. He's got a lot. He's got a lot of guts. So it's uh, he, he stepped up and. and almost every big game that we've had this year and uh, so that says a lot for a freshman and, and you touched on the free throws I mean it's not easy for anybody for him to show that type of poise to make those and that's in that spot it was very impressive and they even tried to ice him I think they called timeout didn't they call timeout after two of them I believe yeah I mean it's uh, <laughs> yeah he, he it wasn't even close to I mean he didn't even hit the rim I mean it was, it was swish 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 so he was just very very cool calm you said before that he's almost exceeded your expectations already for him. Yeah, I mean, he was a top you know, 75 or 100 player, depending on which service had him. But, you know, you just, uh, I, I think he's, he certainly played better than that. You wouldn't expect the, his type of production from a freshman this early. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he's, uh, but it's a testament just to his, him and his family and how he's been raised and how he's been coached his whole life and, and how big, at basketball and athletics is to the Nunez family, and uh, so it's uh, it's been it's been fun having him because he he works his butt off every day, and he uh, you know he just plays to win, and and you love guys at that position that kind of embody those characteristics.